Boys, oh my god, this trailer is absolutely insane. But before we begin, massive shout out to my sponsor, Instant Gaming. If you guys are looking for some really cheap games and want to support the channel in the process, then check out the link in the description for more details. Welcome back everybody to yet another episode of Just Cause 4. So the trailer for Danger Rising DLC, which is the name changed from obviously Agency Strikes Back, was released yesterday. And oh my goodness, it is absolutely glorious. There's so much content packed into it, so we just have to dive deep into it and analyze everything that is going on in that trailer. Sorry for being late with this. I was actually away in London when this was dropping. I did watch it live, and I saw a bunch of you guys in the live stream, so thank you everybody who recognized me. You guys are amazing, okay? You guys were spamming Where's Vadag before I even tuned in, which was quite funny. But anyway, we're just gonna dive straight into this trailer we're gonna go through it and discuss all the new content and all the stuff that was showcased in the danger rising trailer so the trailer starts off with just showcasing as the little teaser we have seen earlier and already from the teaser there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can basically dissect yes they have actually brought in a giant submarine into just cause 4 not only that there's hoverboards hovercrafts New weapons, just a whole bunch of content being packed into this DLC, not to mention rideable drones, as well as a brand new helicopter for the agency. So as you guys can see from the beginning, Rico is back with his old friend Sheldon. When I say friend, yeah, they didn't really finish on good terms, did they now? And they appear to be ambushed by the agency, but the interesting thing about this is like I predicted, the agency will now have grappling hooks for their soldiers, which just kinda looks insane, because every time one of those guys is grappling onto something, I'm like, oh look, that's Rico. It's not. Good way of telling of who's the agency and who's Rico is by looking at their pants, because the agency seems to be wearing these kind of beige chinos, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, that is a good distinction to differentiate them from Rico. So if we take a look at this shot right here, you can see the agency soldier being grappled onto a wall, and he seems to be holding a brand new weapon. This kind of reminds me of the TAR, if I'm not mistaken. It is an actual real life weapon. I think that name was used in plenty of video games so I hope that is the actual name of the weapon but yeah it looks like we're gonna be getting new weapons in this DLC as well. Rico then proceeds to talk about the agent that is in charge of this assault called Agent Miller. I assume they were kind of former colleagues or something like that. I don't think that character has appeared in any of the Just Cause games yet, because that name does not ring a bell to me. Maybe you can correct me in the comment section down below. But one interesting thing about this is he seems to be equipped with the old Just Cause 3 grappling hook, as you guys can see. So maybe a small boss fight is coming, similar to how basically the De La Vero boss fight went down in Just Cause 3, because there is a helicopter behind this guy, and it seems to be slightly different to the other helicopters, unless the gear is foldable for that helicopter. Because if you notice, throughout the entire trailer, none of the gear of the helicopters are sticking out, but this time it is, so maybe it could indicate that it's some sort of a boss fight that's gonna happen at the end of this DLC. I mean, we had that for Los Demonios, so why not do it here as well? In this shot, as you guys can see, Rico is holding the brand new weapon that I was talking about. It appears to have a silencer at the end of it, and overall, it just looks very cool, you know? It looks very futuristic, very space-like, and I really like it. Now we get our first look at this massive submarine that has appeared off of the Shore of Solis. Oh my goodness. Okay, fans have been asking for a submarine, but I don't think we have ever expected to get something this big. Part of me still hopes there's gonna be like a smaller submarine that we would be able to control, because I don't think we're gonna be able to control this monstrosity. But what this reminds me of is basically the Sky Fortress DLC. We can think of this as the Sea Fortress in Just Cause 4. This place is absolutely huge. And also you can see all these different installations around the submarine with a lot of objects of chaos, which does make me think that possibly 
and this is not confirmed in any way, we could have destructive liberation for this DLC, which would be amazing. I'd love to see that coming back to Just Cause. You guys can really see, especially in this shot, how big this submarine is. I mean, you can land the cargo plane on it, I'm pretty sure. It is absolutely enormous. So obviously, it's gonna have an interior as well. I assume it's gonna have landing pads on it, because it looks like on the little command module, or the command bridge, whatever you wanna call it, there appears to be some sort of a runway on top of it. And this thing is armed to the teeth, as you guys can see in the next shot, with a bunch of anti-air and these giant ass missiles. This is going to get really interesting. Right here you guys can see the new helicopter in a little more detail. So like I said, it doesn't have the landing gear extended, so I'm not sure if it actually folds. I mean, helicopters are not really known for, you know, those metal bars for the landing gear to actually fold up and hide away. And it doesn't even seem to have a place to hide it away, so maybe Miller is gonna get his own special helicopter that is basically going to be a boss fight at the end of this DLC. But the helicopter appears to be just equipped with uh, miniguns on each side, but underneath there's this weird gray box. I'm not exactly sure what that's gonna do. Maybe it's gonna have some sort of a special ability, maybe some sort of shield or something like that. We will have to wait and see, but overall, I really like the look of this helicopter. In this shot right here to the left behind Rico, you can see massive mountains in the distance. As far as I can tell, that looks like the Lost Demonios Island, so it looks like some of the installations are gonna be around that, but I do have a feeling they're just gonna be scattered all over Solis, because the main submarine seems to be more in the deserty biome. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see to confirm that, but I think most of the bases are just gonna be scattered throughout the entire map. It's not gonna be all in one location. And of course, everybody, the highlight of this trailer, the hoverboard. I don't know what they were smoking at Square Enix and Avalanche, but oh my goodness, this thing looks amazing. I cannot wait to be using this thing. I mean, the potential for this is insane. I'm so excited for the addition of this into the game. So it does look like you have the ability to obviously jump with it and deploy it kind of maybe similar to how you can deploy the wingsuit. If you press a button, basically Rico just whips out this hoverboard and you just can cover about the place, you know, cause chaos, whatever you want to do, challenges, stunts and all that sort of stuff. And it looks so much fun. My god. One thing I wanted to point out are these water cables. Rico seems to be riding the hoverboard on top of them quite a lot in this trailer, which makes me think it could be kind of linked to how the hoverboard is powered potentially, or maybe when you're riding the cables, you're gonna get some sort of a speed boost or you have to recharge it, because it does also look like you can take the hoverboard wherever you want, because it would be kind of silly if you wouldn't be able to do that. And I assume, like I said, you're gonna be able to just kind of deploy it wherever you want, but maybe if you're riding these power lines, these power cables, you maybe get some sort of an ability, some sort of a boost, or maybe like an increased jump, something like that, or like an instant recharge for a boost. Who knows, we will have to wait and see until this is finally out. So the grip is now portable, everybody. You will be able to basically have the gravity gun from Half-Life. We had something like this with the mechs, obviously, in Just Cause 3, but now it's portable. It's a gun. You'll be able to levitate objects and just shoot them into the sky. I just hope we can do that with the cargo plate, or imagine the spearhead just levitating that and just shooting it away. That would be amazing. So this is the shot we've seen in the teaser trailer, kind of a lot of stuff happening here. As you guys can see, you obviously have those cables on the water for the hoverboard. You've got a drone that is being ridden by one of the agents. This is not actually Rico, like I said, you can differentiate them by the pants that they are wearing, because they're very kind of like beigey pants, uh, I think that's beige. <laughs> I'm kind of colorblind, so I can't really tell. And to the left below that, you can see the hovercraft 
that are making its way into the game. So I assume that is obviously going to be part of the DLC. We originally speculated that that was going to be part of the Black Market DLC, but no, it looks like it's coming with this DLC. So if you are a gold edition pass or the gold pass owner, you should be able to get them with this. So that's pretty exciting. My hope is that Rico will also be able to ride these drones because that would be pretty fun for stunts and challenges and that sort of stuff. You know, just giving players more freedom to do whatever they want. Right here, you've got a closer look at one of the hovercraft. They look really cool. They're kind of more armored and more sci-fi looking. Has a turret on top of it. It appears to be just shooting regular bullets by the muzzle. Because, you know, if it had some sort of Bavarium infusion in it, <laughs> then I guess it would be glowing more blue. But it has the, you know, standard yellow-orange muzzle. So I assume it's just shooting regular bullets. And it does kind of look like a minigun on the top of it. So here we get a shot of just kind of standard agency soldiers and they seem to be equipped with once again a brand new weapon so this one is slightly different it seems like some sort of an assault rifle and it has a grenade launcher under its main barrel so it looks like it's just gonna be you know like a standard issue rifle for the agency and then obviously the guys that can use the grapple hooks will have a more silenced option which is the weapon that looks like the tar from obviously all the video games out there every modern military shooter pretty much has that weapon in it so as the trailer is wrapping up there's just a lot of explosions and action going on obviously you can see Rico riding around on the hoverboard doing tricks and stuff like that but it looks like you can actually change into the wingsuit as you're riding the hoverboard which is so cool I love that so much so obviously that's gonna once again open up a lot of possibilities for stunts and challenges we do get a closer look at one of the agency soldiers riding the drone that is one of the soldiers that is obviously equipped with the grapple hook because as you guys can see she's holding onto the drone using the grapple and behind you can see all the destructible objects and all that sort of stuff that is going to be coming with this DLC and as well you can see the desert biome in the background so like I said it looks like all the bases are just gonna be scattered throughout the entire map and as the trailer is finishing up you guys can see a lot of destruction which just kind of you know hints at the destructive liberation in this DLC. In my opinion, and it just kind of makes sense, you know, if this giant ship just shows up over the coast of Solis, we just want to blow it up. We just want to destroy everything around it and sink it to the bottom of the ocean. So that kind of makes sense in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There's obviously more Just Cause 4 content coming, so stay tuned to the channel for more of that. But if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out my sponsor, Instant Gaming. The link to that is going to be in the description. And there you can also find a link to all my merch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're going to have a wonderful day. And I shall see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.